on official starts of blue season is tomorrow. Jason and I got our shots taken care of Wednesday on Good Morning. That's right. Love this shot right here. There it is. Ow! Ouch! Yeah, you didn't cry though. You were tough. No, were I was tough. a little sore that day. You were a little whiny the next morning. <laughs> That's fair. So uh, you may have started seeing ads for you know get your flu shot as early mm -hmm. as last month. So it made us wonder when is the best time to get a flu shot? Yeah. Obviously. Any time is better than no time. True. Any time is better than no time. You do worry about if yeah. I get it too early, will mm -hmm. it cover me for the whole flu yeah, season? This is actually something the CDC has looked at really closely because if you think about it, a lot of us has taken our kids to their pediatrician for their back to school appointments back in August and they were offered the flu shot back then and if the flu season goes all the way through April you wonder if you get it in August are my kids gonna be okay how long does it April? last it goes from October all in some cases to mid-May but generally okay. through April so that's a really long time um, but they have looked at this closely they found for children it's okay you should get the vaccine children and adults younger adults you should get the vaccine as soon as it becomes available Just so August is it. okay they've looked at it and they found that kids who are vaccinated that early are not getting any late season flu. But, and there's a caveat to this, for older folks, people in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, they should probably wait. Because it won't last, it won't be strong enough. Right, because their immune systems aren't as strong, so the vaccine protection won't last as long. And what they're telling them is wait until at least probably Halloween. Oh, wow. So because you want to be able to be sure that you're covered through the peak, which is January. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So we got ours, you know, this week. Yes. I, one thing that I didn't know about is that it actually takes a couple weeks to kick in. It does. It takes two weeks for the antibodies to develop within your body. So mm -hmm. if you are exposed to the flu in the next uh, two weeks, watch oh. out, guys. But uh, no, you should be fine <laughs> because the season really doesn't, like I said, doesn't peak until January. Sometimes, you know, a couple years ago it was in November, mm -hmm. in December when it was the big what, what the big peak was. Sure. But the other thing they've looked at, some people have asked me, well, why not just get a shot in August and get another, another one in January? One. Yeah, a why booster. Not? Yeah, but they, the CDC has looked at that as well, and what they found that there, it just doesn't scientifically support. Oh, so really? Not idea. worth okay. the extra money. Right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. When you look at the flu shot, obviously there are some people, you know, when you look at the percentage of people who are taking it, less it's only. Less than half. Yeah, mm -hmm. less than half. What do you think it is? Are people, do people doubt that it works? I, from when I talk, because I talk to people about this a lot on the street, and I think a lot of people, they think it makes them sick, which yeah. I think science oh, yeah. has really shown that. A lot of people think that. Yes, doesn't. Mm -hmm. like, you maybe just got true. sick, right. like you would have gotten sick anyway. Um, and a lot of people think it doesn't work. A lot of people just don't mm -hmm. get around to it. Sure. And so these are some of the excuses yeah, that I hear for, sure. that makes sense. Um, for it, but they really, but you know, it, it really can be devastating to people. Yeah. The flu can. The real flu. It's right. not the 24-hour no, thing. No, the real it's, flu. It is bad. Mm -hmm. it I'm is glad bad. we got ours then.